So, yeah, we were on a footy trip in Hong Kong for like three days, four days. Been a big couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I think I had like maybe two or three nights off the off the piss in like three weeks or something like that. <laughs> it was pretty big. But I got the old, like, well, after the game, I, mum and dad were like, make sure you celebrate this. Like, you know, might not happen again. Good. So you had the all clear from mum and dad. Well, that was like the, the green light. Like, all right, I'm sending <laughs> yeah. it. So, they said so. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, mum and dad's fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, Hong Kong. Uh, all the boys every morning walk down playing the port song or never tear us apart. <laughs> so I'm like w- walking down hungover as last one to get in there and they're like, we got the power to win. <laughs> <Like, laughs> it's just so funny. And I, I, I loved it. Some blokes like hate that kind of stuff, but I thought it was funny as. Um, and anyway, on the last day, um, I was with all the boys and they're giving me some shit about Leah and stuff like that. And then I started feeling real bad. Like after having a big couple of weeks, I was like, you know, not feeling too great. Vulnerable. Vulnerable, yeah, that's <laughs> emotional. <a> great, <laughs> yeah, emotional. Um, and so they got to me to a point where I was like on the phone to my manager saying like, I'm not leaving. Like, <laughs> wow. Don't call them back, I'm not going. Like, just Who's your manager? Uh, Colin Young. Wow. Goat manager. He would Anyone love that. Listening? The drama. Colin Young, goat. Um, we're going to have Cole on the show hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So. All right, I'll hit him up for you. We'll, we'll get his side of this story. So you're on the phone to Colin Young saying, I'm not leaving. Yeah. Re- reverse yeah. the deal. Yeah, pretty much. Was um, it the deal being done? Yeah, it was done, like sealed. So he, he was like, oh, okay, all right, I'll, I'll try, try and do something for you. But it wasn't going to do anything. Because it was rest- you signed as a restricted free agent. So West Coast had the opportunity to match it. That's right. So you, so you spoke to Craig, um, you spoke to uh, Cole, but then you're also on the phone to Craig, Craig Vozzo. I'm pretty sure. Oh, probably, mate. I can't remember. I was pretty scattered, but I'm pretty yeah. sure you were asking the mate get the club to match. I want you oh, to match the right. offer. Yeah, I was doing yeah, that. I'm pretty yeah. sure you <laughs> called Craig Vozzo, who's the GM of footy. Match the offer. Just Craig. match it. Match it. I'm just. I don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. So, but I was. I, I was committed to leaving. Like once. Once I woke up the next day, I was. You know, I was still happy to go home. But at the time, I was pretty vulnerable and. Um, yeah, the boys got in my head a bit, but yeah, it was, it was funny looking back on it. When, when did you? Sorry, when did yeah. you tell everyone that you were leaving then? Well, I didn't really tell anyone. Anyone really? No. Um, it just kind of comes out. Like I think it's pretty obvious as players. Like when a guy hasn't signed, like at the end of the year, like he's going. Right. You know, like how many play? How many players sign at the end of the year or after the season's finished? Yeah. Like if they're out of contract, they're pretty much gone, aren't they? Like, yeah. I can't remember anyone seen otherwise. 